Oh, Gary Nasai Minasan, it is time for us to review Shin Kamen Rider. I finally watched it today and I have to tell you, it is very, very disappointing. Oh my god. I, I man, like if you compare it to Shin Ultraman, Shin Kamen Rider is an utter mess okay there's a lot a lot of things for me to complain but i'm just gonna keep it short and simple i have three points for me to complain and three good points for me to kind of praise the entire show itself so let me start with the bad news okay the bad news is the opening of the movie itself is really really weird because it started out immediately with the bike chase out of nowhere and it actually makes me felt like i just kind of like miss out in the first 30 minutes of the movie is i am i am i lost am i did, did i came into the cinema late something like that i am sure i did not go to the cinema late okay i i, I sit in my seat i watched all the trailers that the cinema want to sell it to me and now out of nowhere the movie start and it felt like i just meet i just missed the first 30 minutes of the movie itself so if you do not know and if you haven't watched the movie yet and you are watching this review i i applaud you i respect you for for your own choice to to be spoiled but the first few 10 minutes of the I, I would say 10 minutes of the uh, movie itself, we actually already saw it already. It is the spider augment part of the movie itself. And at first, when I actually reviewed the spider augment Kamen, Shin Kamen Rider part, it, I actually say something during the review is that I thought that that, that part, that 10 minutes, they actually kind of cut the movie up so that it would actually fit into the 10 minute but no that is what you see is what you get that is the first 10 minute of the show and i have to say i hate it i freaking freaking hate it because it has the second thing that i freaking hate okay like it has too many cars and there's no continuity at all like i i i just like it almost seems like the con Conti people is didn't go to work that day. Like the Conti doesn't actually tell the director, hey, this is what you need to do. This is what we need to do to keep in the the continuity of the entire story itself. And I felt like it, it, it is very, very messy, man. Like the entire entire scene is very messy throughout the entire film. The cuts are insane. I don't know why they have so so many cuts maybe this is kind of like an homage to the original Kamen Rider show but dude this I, I mean like if, if they are trying to make an homage pay an homage to the story or whatsoever I get it okay if, if that is their intention I get it but I I also want you to to do it better i want you to to make it in in a sense like it, it can exist in the modern day era something like that so that is something that i would really really love to see but sadly to say there is way too much cut even in the action even even in normal talking man like there is like way too much cut in the movie itself it almost like like the director is self-aware that god damn it this plot is so boring that we need so many cards in the story so that i can actually tell the story properly in a sense okay so that is the second thing i want to complain about the, the third thing okay the third thing is the crop the, the biggest culprit shaky action scene there is so so many shaky action scene in this movie itself i mean <sighs> I, I know that is kind of like what Kamen Rider standard actually is like even in today we watch Kamen Rider revised oh my god if you watch Kamen Rider Giz uh, what am I saying revised if you watch Kamen Rider Giz there is still shaky action scene but it is not that bad okay like compared to Shin Kamen Rider like it is 
some of them is like really really messy really really shaky like they they actually teases with some like katana action scene and honestly speaking the action scene for the katana fight is so lackluster it actually felt like why do they even sh put that in in the first place like i Maybe I have too much of an expectation because I we we saw a really good katana fight scene in Runo Uni Kenshin, so I was expecting kind of like a similar level, and we also got quite a lot of really good martial arts movie like Ip Man and and some other movie itself. So I, my my standards are quite high, especially like this is Shin Kamen Rider dude. Like this is not your weekly Kamen Rider series episode this is a movie a worldwide international movie they are there is gonna like bring Kamen Rider to the rest of the world something like that and this is the quality you give disappointment god damn it this is but 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 with but but with that being said okay there are still some good thing in the story itself first thing i like is the actors and actress all of them i think they did a really really amazing job in portraying the character in the in in the way like their talk and all those stuff i think the only the weakest actors i see is hongo takeshi like that the i don't know why but he seemed kind of stiff at certain point i think uh, hayato ichimon Ichimoji Hayato is a really really good uh, the actor that plays him is really good or maybe his character is easier to play and I also really love Ru Rurika Ruliko Ru Ruli's character okay like the actress also did a really amazing job in portraying her but I I just have to say like the the, the character like the, the, the I think the plot the story writing really fell the character here because it seems all over the place if I, I really felt like there is still a one hour movie was being left on the cutting floor and if they it just included that one hour into the the movie itself they just make it into a three hour movie i felt like shin kamen rider is gonna be so much more better like i felt like they they all the thing that i've com i complain about is gonna get fixed if they actually show the entire movie that was invasion to be itself but then again i could be wrong yeah? i could be wrong and lastly I, and lastly the, the the final thing that i want to give press about is the outfit i really love all the outfit for the riders for the Ockman, all of them are really really well designed and i felt like we already know this when we watch the trailer and that is why we are so hype about it but one of the my one more one of my favorite one is i surprisingly is actually the chameleon and kamakiri uh augment i think i really love that helmet and like, part of the reason is because it is like really unique and it's like too fair something like that so i really love that one okay but with that being said that is all from me it is a really really short review of shin kamen rider i don't really have a lot of thing to say about the movie itself because like even even in the plot department it is quite it is not it is really really straightforward man like there's like this is not black sun there's nothing to review there's there's no like hidden agenda here there's nothing to, to to talk much about this is just a pure sincerely a pure Kamen Rider show that is here to 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 stay okay to make you curious to to make you watch the series itself so Shin Kamen Rider did it did did it do the the og kamen rider series justice i i would say pretty much yes but then again uh the standards right now are higher expectation are really really high especially how good shin ultraman actually is for me so after seeing shin kamen rider like this oh man i i don't know man like, i i kind of don't want them to continue to do this shin kamen rider thing anymore in the future <laughs> i don't know man like i love shin godzilla i love shin ultraman and i uh, i really want to love shin kamen rider but sadly it can be so much better man like it can be so so much better 
But last thing I just want to mention before I end the video is the ending of the movie itself. It actually reminded me of Kamen Rider W where Takeshi Hongo, uh, the, 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 the soul of Hongo is in the helmet and now he's talking together with Ichimonji. So it's kind of like Futari Hitori no Kamen Rider. So it's like kind of reminds me of Kamen Rider W something like that. So yeah, I think it's amazing. But then again, I don't like the movie. So that is all from me. Hope you enjoy. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts of Shin Kamen Rider. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you agree with me? If you don't, let me know. If you agree, let me know as well. But most importantly, subscribe because we we, we need subscriber, man. Goodbye.